In this video, we're going to talk about workspaces and really how Trello organizes the dashboard. So in order to get to this screen, your home screen, you're going to want to go here to the upper left hand corner. You're going to push the little house and you see the way that they've organized. So we have the starred boards. So these are the most commonly used boards here at the very top. And then we'll see recently viewed and then we will see the collection of workspaces. So these are all of my workspaces. The way that Trello organizes workspaces is that with your free plan, you are allowed 10 boards per workspace. If you have a paid version or a paid plan of Trello, you can have unlimited boards in a workspace. So let's talk about how to add a workspace. We're gonna come here to workspaces and you'll see there's a little plus sign. We'll select the plus sign and it's gonna prompt us. So for this training, I'm just gonna say test. Now I'm gonna say workspace type. I'm just gonna select other, and now I'm gonna select continue. I don't need to invite a team member. I'll do this later. And now we have a workspace. So here they're giving you templates, different options that you can add, but this is really down here is where your workspace starts. So I can create a board. If I select here, then it'll allow me to create a board. I can also edit. So I can change the T uh, and they're pulling in T because of test. So let's just go ahead and we'll edit the workspace. So I could name this Rhonda's workspace and I can save it. I can also change the logo here. And now I can add up to 10 boards if this is the free plan. So again, to get to your workspace home base, you wanna select in the upper left-hand corner, the house, and here we go.